What's going on, team? Welcome back. Now, today on the Karate Playbook, we're. Hold on, I'm doing. Today. Don't forget about me. No, I'm not gonna forget about you. Just give me a second. I'll introduce you, and then you can then you can come in. So today on the Karate Playbook, we're gonna cover a topic that a lot of you have actually requested. That a lot of you have requested, which is how to spar against a taller opponent. And today I am being joined by my lovely wife, Kelly. And we're gonna talk about some strategies that you can use if you're fighting somebody who's taller and you might not be quite life-size. I am fun-sized and vertically efficient. So let's jump on the mats and we'll get started. All right, so like I said, a lot of you have been requesting some tips on how to spar against a taller opponent. Now, while fighting somebody taller does have its challenges, one of the things you wanna keep in mind is that actually being on the shorter side is actually gonna give you an advantage in several ways. So if we're set up into our stance, if I'm taller, I'm gonna always have to be punching down. So if I'm punching straight out, the closest target that I have is gonna be that person's head. So while the head is a target we don't want to really get hit, it's, it's all so pretty. We also have to keep in mind that it's a lot smaller than our body. So punching at the head is actually a little bit harder mm -hmm. than her punching at my body. So she can hit anywhere from the chest to the belt and the full width of the chest. So she can hit pretty much anywhere and I'm limited by the head. Now, if she's in her stance and she's set up, one thing that she can do is to sink down a little bit lower and really force that angle of my punch to come down. Something to keep in mind is that as you're punching, if I have to punch down, my punch actually gets shorter. Mm -hmm. So her being able to punch straight out from her shoulder, that's the longest range that your arm can have. And if I'm punching down, it actually diminishes the length of my technique. Mm -hmm. All right, so just keep that in mind, but the tip that we're gonna talk about is against the tall fighters that like to come in really long. So this one's gonna be more on the counter side of things or the defensive side. If you want any specific tips on how to fight taller opponents, if you want tips on a different technique, please drop in the comments. We wanna make sure we're bringing you the videos that you're running the most. All right, so if she's set up in her stance here, if we're at a little bit longer of a distance, the most common way for a taller fighter to cover this distance is with a long jab or a long roundhouse kick. All right, so in this case, we're gonna talk about the jab. So all that she's gonna do is as this jab comes in, she's essentially just going to push that front hand across her face and put her reverse punch out at the same time. This is a technique that our primary instructor, Sensei Al Dorlag, drilled us into the ground with over and over and over, and it really is an amazing combination, and it really looks just like our low block or our knife hand block sort of position. Mm -hmm. All right, so when we're set up here, it is not gonna be two different techniques. So she doesn't want to block first and then punch because I might be following up with my second technique. So if she blocks first and I'm going here, I might catch her with a second technique. I might be going up high as well and catch her really quick. <laughs> so the idea that she wants to have is as I'm throwing this, almost think about throwing the reverse punch First. So the front hand is just gonna press right across her face and that reverse punch is gonna go in. Now, one of the things we wanna do is if I'm set up here, this front hand is gonna push across, the reverse punch is gonna go in, but we also wanna step our front leg in and over to the left to open up for this reverse punch. Now, this will also put your head out of position for the jab. So if we're set up at this angle here, just so you can see a little bit easier, as I throw, she's going to step that front foot over and throw her reverse punch, and that block will just kind of happen as the body rotates. So that's just the first of many really quick tips on how to fight against a taller opponent. Just make sure that these techniques happen at the same time and that as you're bouncing, you're staying light and staying mobile. Now remember, being short is not bad. We can find really awesome techniques to make tall people wish they weren't tall anymore. So there's always ways that we can learn to make karate best for us. 
Height has nothing to do with karate. So yeah, if you're looking at one of the best fighters in the world, Rafael Agueyev, he is not the tallest person in the division, but he utilizes his height for a great advantage. So this is the first tip. If you want more, make sure you comment below. If you have any questions on what we worked on, let us know as well. But other than that, have an awesome time training. Have a great day, and we'll see you all in the next video. All right, peace.